The pentatonic. So I'm gonna come clean right now and I will say that for many many years I was disrespecting can't even say it. Disrespecting the pentatonic. Um, I felt like it was just, you know, five notes. Penta is five. It's good to know. Um, and I was like, yeah, it's the same five notes. But, boy, I was wrong. Today, what we're going to do is dive into this amazing, amazing color. I mean, this is like... Just this... Could be just this sound of pentatonic. It could be a little more bluesy, if you will. But it could also be just this beautiful, beautiful sound of the pentatonic, and what's hiding behind it is actually a lot of cool things. So what I want to talk about today is a few things that I practice daily. We're going to break it down into 10 levels of information and it's going to start pretty simple so you know probably the first couple, but then I'm definitely going to dive into some very interesting things that I'm, I'm practicing at the moment. I think they're really, really cool and uh, definitely also a little challenging, but really awesome. So stick around. Let's do it. Before we start, um, I think the pentatonic Before we start, why would we even want to know the pentatonic, right? Um, so the answer is, if you like music, you probably want to know the pentatonic. This is like kind of rooted in a lot of the music we check out. Uh, again, talking about kind of harmonic based Western music, but if it's rock, pop, blues, funk, jazz, anything, the pentatonic is a huge part of it. It's a very, very strong, emotional scale. Level one, the box. So literally just playing the good old fashioned pentatonic box here. The only thing I would say that is extremely important is to know what's happening. So we want to sink all our being into that. So we're not going to just like kind of play up and down a scale. No, we're going to listen. feel the pain. I want to I want to connect with the note. This morning I was doing my ear training exercises at 7 a.m. and I was just listening. I was trying to listen into the note itself. I don't know how to explain it. Just like just like what's what's in it. So what I'm saying is it's not enough just to move our fingers. That's cool and all, but we really want to listen. So know the box, but Level two, here we're gonna add one more thing. So you know the box, great. But now we're gonna grab two notes. And I think this is really cool. Although it's maybe still a little simple, but I don't know, for me I was like, oh, that sounds so good. And honestly, people use this sound all the time. But it's important to see what I'm doing here because I'm playing the scale, right? It's not all fourth, because otherwise I have this F natural, which is a no, no, in the key of A minor pentatonic. So we want to make sure that this is C and E here. So let's do it one time slow. Again, just understanding the framework of this two note thing. Literally grabbing two notes from the scale and just ascending down the scale. I am also thinking about the notes themselves. So for me, I really see like La Mi Sol Re Mi Do Right, so I kind of see that in this kind of way. You don't have to, you can think letters, whatever you want. Again, the thing is, just try to listen to it and dive into it. All right, this is simple, but if you like this kind of content and want to support the channel and allowing me to make more stuff like that for you guys, please check out the Patreon. There's also a PDF with all this stuff on Patreon, so thank you. Level three. So here what we're gonna do is actually utilizing the thing. So we're gonna, play a little line and then kind of do a call and response 
where I'm playing a lot and I'm answering with one of the dyads, right? Dyads just meaning those two note kind of sounds that we're just exploring. Here we go. Let me set up a loop. Right? Line, call and response. So, okay, I cheated because I went to this position for this one note, but except that I was really honest to this box here. Now, of course, there are a few boxes in the guitar and it's good to explore that, but right now we're talking about this position here. It's important to try and utilize the information, which leads us to level four. I probably mentioned it uh, before, but we have a vinyl that I'm just really excited about. Uh, I don't know try and hold it correctly. Someone told me I don't know how to hold a vinyl, and it's very true. But yeah, this is available online if you want to order. There's a lot of music here uh, with a lot of amazing artists. So, you know, if you want to treat yourself or your friend to a vinyl, why not? Okay, so we took two elements, and it's cool, we, you know, took a little bit of the pentatonic, took two notes, all good. But I think this is an important point to remember, and I want to really make it a point to itself, just so we remember. Um, and that is to play, to actually be playful with the information. So it's not enough to just, you know, play the position. This is, this is literally just spelling out a word. This is not important almost. What's important is to try and use it, to try and express something. So what you wanna do is connect the new piece of information that we're learning, like a scale, a phrase, whatever it is, to older existing strong memories. So I think the way to do that is by playing, literally taking a blues, one chord, a jam, a groove, anything, but literally making music. So I think I can't stress that enough. When you're practicing, I would put at least 50% of my time making music. So it's like you're in the lab creating and then you're going out and making something with it like mini lab, right? But like, I'm doing it all day long. I'll learn something new, I'll transcribe something, and I'll be like, okay, let me try and use it. You know, so this is really important. This is also something that just took me a minute to understand, because I was just playing scales, I'm like, well, that's not happening. Level five, okay, so I'm happy you're still here. Now we're starting to get into the little bit more intricate and more complex stuff, but also really freaking cool. So first, the same way that we took the two notes, we can take three or four notes. So check this out. So instead of saying, I can say, this is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Right, so let's do it slow together. And again, the framework is, again, just a minor pentatonic, literally. Imagine what happens when we start shifting So this is the fingering. Again, what I would do like anything else, I would try to be aware of the chords, memorize the fingerings, also know the notes, and also sing the stuff, which is definitely challenging. All right, three notes, now four notes. The same thing. Uh -huh. This is just, sounding so beautiful. I mean, this is, I think why guitar is so freaking cool. It's just that pentatonic sound, it's really hard to beat. All right, so you have a few new things, but now you're gonna start exploring it. So I wanna throw another kind of maybe permutation, right? So I'm gonna mix, 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 I can't even say it. Taking one of the shapes, let's take the three note chord and then adding two notes, so kind of three and two, and it also is gonna create this cool cross rhythm of five. So it's gonna sound like this. Check it out really slowly. Mistake. Which is, 
I don't know if I'm gonna actually put it in the edit, but you know, we all make mistakes all the time. I was watching this um, Kurt Rasenwinkel workshop and he's just talking about scale. He's playing like G major scale really slow and he's totally playing a wrong note. And I mean, it's Kurt, right? He's like one of the most amazing musicians alive. Um, not to mention guitar. And it's just like, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. So what I'm trying to do is, you know, when I make mistakes and even if I'm just by myself here talking to the camera, to you guys, um, is just to like try and smile and laugh at it because it's just gonna happen. There's nothing, nothing we can do. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm taking one chord and then two notes, then another chord, two notes. And of course, when I do my morning practice stuff, so I would play it all across the guitar in all the positions and, and then I'll make music with it, or this I'll try. So let's try and hear it on the groove. Right, so, I mean, like anything else, it's just an idea of pentatonic exploration and you can make anything you want with it, you can make any combination, but it's really cool and you can move it around and it's really fun. Seven. Three notes per string pentatonic. This is really cool, check this one out. So I'm gonna stay in this zone, um, there are obviously five options, we're just gonna do this one for now. Um, the idea here is we're playing three notes per string and we're gonna do doubles. So there's no way we can play three notes per string and stay in one position, that is, without doubling. So it's actually a really cool sound. Because the doubles give it like a special flavor. So here it's, again, really slowly. One thing I'm doing here is the two note alternate picking and then hammer on. This is also coming from this Australian school of guitar player that I'm kind of checking out. And uh, again, Josh is one of these amazing artists. Cool, so why do we actually even want the three note per string? Well, it gives you a lot of flexibility if you use legato or these kind of you know, alternate picking variations because you can play it very fast, actually. And also just the sound of it, right? Just that doubling is really, really cool when you, when you double the same note in different strings. And I really like it. So this is something I'm exploring actually a lot these days. Level eight. Okay, so this one is definitely on the challenging side. Um, I'm usually playing this one and working on this quite slow. This is arpeggio, so I'm doing two notes per string, but I'm doing kind of skipping note using that shape of the three note per string um, positions. And then one, two, one, two, one. So what we're getting here is this kind of arpeggio sound. Really slow. do all downstroke and then shift all up. So it's kind of like that. I practice also in all positions but start with this one just to fill it out and it's really cool. Um, I'm starting to, to explore it a lot so it's really really fun sound. Level 9 might be the most important one. So play it really really slow. This is a lot of information and it's really cool, but also like really, if you want to know it, like please just slow it down. Like don't try to play it fast yet. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was interesting and fun. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.